Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to talk about uh, WE Magazines and how to uh, fix some of the uh, leaking issues that you might be getting with them. So usually, uh, I've noticed at least with this magazine, um, you know, the 30 round magazine, there are leaking issues on the top uh, with the release valves. Um, usually it's because of the O-ring um, seals aren't properly sealed basically. Um, it is colder here in the winter when it's drier. Uh, it does tend to, the O-ring tends to shrivel and get cracked. Um, or, you know, maybe it's just, you know, it's just a little shriveled up and so it's not sealing as well as it would have been if it's, um, you know, uh, properly oiled and everything. Uh, this here is a uh, green gas magazine. This here is actually a CO2 magazine. Um, but I'm still having, this is actually a brand new one, but I'm still having um, the same issues um, with the uh, the uh, release valve um, seal not being tight. And so you're putting a new CO2 cartridge and it will still um, slowly leak out. Um, this um, is the 20 round magazine, um, but I haven't had as much issues with this in terms of the uh, release valve leakage. So it's mainly these two magazines for some reason. Um, so what we're going to try to do is try to fix them. Um, and more importantly, we want to know if they're um, the dimensions of the O-rings. So because the easy thing is uh, what you normally do is the quick fix is basically without even having to do anything, it's basically you just, well, at least without having to take it apart, it's basically you fill up the, um, the fill valve or the, yeah, the fill valve right here with, um, silicone oil and let it rise to the top and let it sit overnight and so that way the thought process is that basically the oil soaks into the uh, fill valve rings or sorry the release valve uh, o-rings and swell up and then eventually like leaving that for about 24 48 hours you pour out the silicone oil and then it's all swollen up again and the seals are um, perfectly aligned um, and they are good to go uh, that's the easy answer, the simple solution, if it works, if you're lucky. Um, same goes with this, but I haven't had that luck so far of this one. It keeps leaking out. So basically, I'm going to have to do the next thing where I have to basically take apart this magazine and see if I can, um, uh, you know, to pull out the O-rings and take out the O-rings specifically, soak it in the silicone oil for 48 hours, and then put it back in and see if it'll work. Um, so that's another solution. If, but when we're taking it apart, I also want to know what is the, and I'm sure you folks want to know as well, um, what kind of dimensions are those O-rings? Um, so, because sometimes, you know, um, these O-rings, they wear out, they crack, you know, um, especially the, the nature of how these operate, um, there's a lot of stress on these O-rings. Um, as you fire more and more rounds, um, you know, the O-rings, it's colder, um, they could crack, especially if you go on full auto. So it's important to know what those are so they can be easily replaced if be, instead of having to buy, you know, another magazine, which anywhere from like 35, the camera just froze for a second, uh, can be anywhere from $35 to maybe 45 bucks, and then with shipping, it can be kind of pricey. So uh, let's try to take a look at it and see what we can do. Let's start with this magazine first. Um, and let's see what we can do here. All right, so you're going to need a, um, a special tool for this um, that comes with the different um, uh, adapters that you can basically unscrew uh, the, re uh, the release valves right there. So, but the first thing you gotta do is basically uh, pop off the base plate right here. I dropped mine a couple times on the floor, um, so that's why it's dented in like this. Normally yours shouldn't be this difficult to um, uninstall. Basically, I gotta pry it out. There we go. Okay, then that leaves a little screw right there. You gotta unscrew that. Now you do want to be careful when you push this up because um, this is on this side is where all the uh, uh, the bolt catching devices are located, and it could be under a little bit of spring tension. So you want to just slowly push them up, uh, and then just remove those parts first, and don't uh, so that it doesn't go flying around on you later on. So to do that, uh, just kind of push down on the on the follower in the magazine to relieve some of the tension. Then just slowly pick out the pieces right there. So that's the shell. All right, so now make sure that obviously the magazine needs to be empty. 
Um, now we're going to try to see if one of these works. So it should be this one right here, you know, line into the grooves right there. Now, unfortunately, I had to struggle with this a little bit because uh, this tool is designed to be used for removing uh, those release valves here, but uh, they don't really fit as well since the grooves um, on the, the brass part of the uh, release valve isn't uh, as, uh, the, the gaps are a little bit more narrow than the tool's um, notches. So it's kind of a fit actually to uh, put it in there. Um, but it, eventually you can kind of uh, make it work and then it will, it will um, come out. The, the tool is kind of better designed for the, the, the blowback um, Glock magazines. Not so much this, but uh, eventually you can get to go through. So um, that's kind of disappointing, but at least um, it will work. Um, and then you'll be able to ultimately remove it. Once you've gotten it all turned out, you basically uh, can just uh, spin it out and then pull it straight out. So let's see if we can find the um, the proper dimensions uh, for these O-rings right here. Uh, there are three different O-rings here. So it could be this one, this one, or I guess that one that's causing the leak. Um, so. What don't we do is I'm just going to pull these O-rings off. Uh, we'll try to measure them, um, and then I'll go to the store and see what you know dimensions they're likely to be while we're soaking them all also with silicone oil uh, in order to um, uh, hopefully the, you know, the O-rings will swell up again. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, they are in there pretty pretty stiff and they feel very well oiled so I'm kind of surprised that they're leaking um, all right well so what happens when we fire the gun is um, the, you, the hammer uh, hits this pin right here and uh, this whole release valve basically will open up so it'll open like that and then the gas will come spewing out. So my guess is since this gun is leaking right now, it probably is either this O-ring right here that's preventing it, that only is supposed to open and release when the uh, hammer hits the valve release pin, or maybe it's this one right here. Uh, so let's try to fix those and see where we can get. All right, so I went to the store and tried to buy some O-rings that seems to fit the dimensions. Um, the first two O-rings are actually the same sizes. Um, it's just that one, the one in the behind, the middle O-ring is stretched out around a wider diameter, so it looks uh, wider, but it is really the same too. So um, I tried shopping around. Um, unfortunately, I bought a couple. They didn't really work out, um, mainly because they were too thick, um, and so. Um, the ones you see right there is not it, even though that's the one you'll find at Home Depot. Um, here it is, I'm trying to put it back on, um, and unfortunately it's just too thick uh, to really fit, um, to be really effective. It will fit, but when you try to install it into the magazine, it just jams it up. So that's no good. Um, if you try to remove the third O-ring, which is in the very rear, that one actually is a different size. Notice how thinner um, the diameter or the cross section is of that O-ring. Uh, so there really is just two different types of O-ring sizes in here. Even though, so the first two are the same, the last one in the rear is of a different dimension. Don't worry though, um, I finally found out the right one after guessing and checking and it finally works. Um, so we'll go through that one in a little bit. Uh, so right here, you'll see uh, on the top part, that's the uh, O-ring sizes I bought from Home Depot that I thought was going to work. The ones below that um, in the row, below that is going to be the ones that originally came from the stock WE gun. So those are the dimensions we're really shooting for. Obviously, as you can see how thick the cross sections are, those look like a lot bigger donuts. Um, than the original, so it's it's no surprise they didn't work. So at this point, you're probably wondering, well, what does work, right? So I'm not sure these are the exact dimensions, um, but these seem to work right here. I bought these from the O-ring store here, based out in Washington. Um, nice of them to send me this uh, these O-rings as well as this Tootsie Roll at the bottom. I think it's something they do for all local Washington natives here. No, I'm kidding. I think they do it for everybody, but that was pretty nice of them. Anyway. 
So a lot of these O-rings here, um, the two one, the two main ones we're wondering in questions are the smaller ones. So the the first two O-rings, the ones that are the same dimensions, that's going to be uh, 1.5 millimeter by 3 millimeter. Uh, and those are going to fit in your first two right there. And then remember that skinnier, smaller, um, but wider, sorry, this, this, the slimmer but uh, slightly larger O-ring in the rear, that one is the dimension that seems to work is the 1 by 6.5 millimeter uh, O-ring. Now, again, they... They don't seem to be the exact same size as the original, but when I put it inside the magazine and oil them up, they worked perfectly in resealing it without causing any leakages. So I think you can say it's safe to assume that these are okay. The larger O-ring you see there in the top left-hand corner here, that's one by 24 millimeter, um, and that one actually is for um, the seal around the main. Uh, magazine housing too because they're made by two different units connected together. We won't go into so much of that today um, because we're really just focusing on the top release valve O-rings but um, that's going to be for a future video if we need to go down that road. One interesting thing to note though is that these are actually, uh, I did some research onto the materials that these are made out of. So these are called the Buna N70 um, O-ring series and so these are basically made of nitrate or nitrite I believe. So they have certain good properties in which they are good against many different types of oil including silicone so they don't degrade as well, uh, sorry as much but they aren't as great under low temperatures. So other O-rings, um, such as the ones that are made with uh, silicone, are actually designed to be, they have less wear, and, they're less able to tolerate the wear and tear, but they're able to survive better under uh, low temperatures and operate better. So I think in the future we might take a look at better um, different properties of the um, uh, the O-ring material because I think that might be beneficial but for now um, I just want to get the dimensions right so that they're so we can all know what is a readily available source to replace these O-rings and um, these uh, uh, these magazines uh, so now this is me just here just trying to reinstall some of the new O-rings um, again I'm still using the ones from Home Depot that's what HD stands for on the napkin by the way Home Depot uh, so those are the ones that don't really work. Um, so I'm still trying to finagle them and put them in here because I wanted to see if they'll work. Uh, ultimately, they failed. Um, I never recorded the uh, film where I'm actually putting in the, the new O-rings, um, but I did that off camera. Uh, but then they fit in very nicely. Um, it's usually a hassle um, to put in the first two ones because... Um, the uh, the pin that slides open um, to open the valves that one uh, makes it very difficult to install. Um, but um, you know, just use your fingers, um, oil them up a little bit, and just slide them down um, on the uh, <laughs> the shaft <laughs> of this. Uh, yeah, no, that that's as uncomfortable for me to say as for you to hear it too. But yes, that's what you got to do to install these O rings. Um, and then once you have that complete, um, you know, make sure you oil it very nicely, uh, tighten it up with the, uh, the screw that we used, and then it should be able to, uh, work pretty nicely. Um, you might hear some hissing at first, but give it a little bit for the oil to expand, and then it should be very good. Um, I ran mine through, and it's working very nicely. Now, one thing to note, though, is yes, sometimes you will need to replace the O-rings because they're just cracked and no amount of silicone oil will fix that. So those need to be replaced, obviously. But uh, the first time I did this, actually, um, and then I reused the old O-rings, it turns out the O-rings weren't the problem. It turns out that the uh, release valve just was getting loose, and so I just had to retighten it. But you know what? What the heck? I just want to replace them anyway, so um, I toss out the old ones um, and just replace them, and so they work. But yeah, sometimes it's you know you can do a combination of things to fix it. You can either just do what we originally talked about without disassembling anything. If that doesn't work, try tightening it. If that doesn't work, then you have to consider uh, changing the O-rings out. So there are different things to do. Um, and now, and again, we're only focusing on just the uh, release valve from the top in this video today. Um, but there are a lot of other O-rings in this magazine here, so you have different sources to, that can be leaking from. So um, we'll talk about those later just to keep this video short. It's kind of long enough as it is right now.
All right, thanks, folks. So that was all. Uh, hopefully, that was helpful in uh, guiding you on how to change some of the uh, uh, O-rings and uh, giving you a little more options about in case you, um, you have some issues with the leakage at the uh, release valve. It is a common area where, at least in my experience, where it, um, it does tend to fail, and uh, replacements are uh, welcomed options here. Uh, so stick around. I, I don't think we have time this time uh, in this video to uh, really talk about the CO2 magazine. Um, we'll talk about that next time right here. Um, but uh, if y'all like the stuff, as always, give us a thumbs up um, or uh, subscribe to our channel. And then uh, leave a comment below. Let us know uh, what all you think about this and uh, what else we should do next time. Is there, uh, ideas are always welcomed on this channel. Thanks a lot, folks. See y'all next time.